firm everywhere. It's uh, just the days before I came. Uh, I came yesterday, but uh, I, I heard the last few days were like class six. That's <laughs> balmy. That's like almost short weather for yeah. Antonians. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know, right? <laughs> it's okay. You left at a good time. I think we were like last night. It was funny. We went out for dinner and we're coming out of the restaurant with uh, friends. And I thought, I told him, he listened. It's crazy. It feels really cold. Uh -huh. like it was seven only you know about eight o'clock at night it was not you know it's winter it's february yeah. but just you know you know our vancouver cold it's that wet yeah. feeling i felt like snow almost to be honest with you yeah yeah yeah, yeah vancouver cold always gets to you gets yeah. to the cold. yeah are, are really you close in vancouver i'm in vancouver phil's in mississauga not today today's in san francisco he's oh get away yeah. <laughs> nice nice so where, what are you doing there <laughs> um i'm i'm actually here for family so so my mom my mom's going on a trip um from san francisco and so my sisters and i um thought we'd take the chance and come out and, and hang out with her with wow. for just a little we, we haven't done it so my sisters and i and my mom you know we're all married we have kids and everything so we figure we haven't hung out as a family for probably 20 years i think oh, like wow. just the four of us you know so it's kind of amazing right so there you yeah. go so it's yeah. it's been really fun, like really really fun. So that's, that's I, I'm awesome. I'm almost ready. We're we're done tomorrow. So <laughs> it's all about timing, right? So yeah, sometimes there's a reason for twenty year gaps, right? It's nice, but yeah, it's time to get away from you guys. All short window for lots of fun <laughs> memories, and then back to normal. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. You guys got a chance to to meet in some friend. Yeah. <laughs> nice weather down there. Uh. I mean, nice weather for Canadians, right? So it's it's probably 15, 16 degrees here. Um, they're freezing the Californians, to death. Californians, they're they're freezing to death, right? Like so, yesterday right. we were down, we were down by the beach, and we were the only three with our socks and shoes off walking in the water, right? And everyone else was in puffers and good. So nice for us, not nice, not so nice for them, but nice for us. So there you go. <laughs> You know what? I feel really good. I tell people all the time, as soon as tech issues, I'm happy because it's usually all me. No. Uh, like 99.9% .9 of the time, it's me. So when someone else gets problems, I love it, especially if they're way younger, even more better. <laughs> it makes me so happy inside. There you go. I, I got it fixed. It's my computer. Yeah. I don't care go. if you can fix it or not. I feel good that you have problems. I'm, that's all good for me. <laughs> I'm so happy that you made you happy again either. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Well, let's let's do this thing. Um, Kenny, do you want to do a, a quick intro? Well, yeah. It's, it's so, do you, how do you? What do you go by? Do you go by just Ming? Ming is good. Because uh, it doesn't matter. Just whatever your name is, it's because now it's come up as, as Ming Sun. So I thought, okay. So Ming, who's on with us today, um, coming to us. We, we got this from the lead from um, Natural Products Canada, right, Phil? Yeah, from Sue. Yeah, from Sue. And you guys are part of Incubator Alley at CHFA. Yes. And I know there was three companies that you had, but only one sort of involved. And I don't remember the name of the company that's involved. So I went through your web page this morning because I was curious. And it looks like you guys are doing stuff all natural and sort of within um, B pollen B extracts or something to that derivative. So today you are going to explain what you do to us. Hopefully what we get to do is what Phil and I are trying to do on these short ones is get people excited before they get to CHFA. So hopefully what they'll do is they'll listen to a few of these fast thoughts we're going to do. We're doing eight or nine for Sue, for her group. And hopefully what it'll do is just drive people to the alley. Um, to meet you guys and further talk about what you do and how it relates to their stores, et cetera. And hopefully you guys can do some some decent business. And uh, it sounds like we're going to try to save the planet as we do this, which is all good for a Thursday morning. So Ming, the next Perfect. 15 minutes are yours. Uh, you can start wherever you want. Typically, we just like to know like you know who you are, why you got here. And then yeah. give us a little bit on the company and uh, what you hope to maybe achieve at CHFA and in general. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so, so as for me, for myself, um, pretty much most of my career are just all researcher. 
And uh, school-wise, and the first many years of my career-wise, is just hardcore research, molecular biology, synthetic biology. So backing out from all that micro stuff for a bit, I think just biology itself is just what always fascinated me. It's always just just the loving the planet, the animals, and all the creatures, or whatnot, right? So that's kind of like underlying theme of the line of work I love to do. Um, like coming out of a decade long kind of like those research from around 2011 to like 2021, and uh, me, I, you know, I met my the other partners as Guan, Mandy, and Lin for a long time, almost a decade long, and then we just it, it just also happened when the time uh, we brainstormed about you know what kind of new venture that we can go into, it was just right in the heat of the pandemic. Right. And one of the topics we always chatted about back in those days is like there's uh, during that time there's so much synthetic disinfectant that's being used every day, right? And not just that of uh, the pipes you see thrown around or like you know polluting just just the environment piece itself, but just the chemicals that people are being right. exposed. To, so it's exp exponentially higher than before, and then. We we always have concerns from just previous learnings, whether it's from the pesticide world or whatnot. It's so like these things in the long term may cause problems in humans. And we dug into some literature and found out that the uh, um, some of these synthetic disinfectants may cause um, you know problems in the reproductive system, um, in the nerve development system, and so on. Just the evidences are new. But uh, there are some of them, right? Enough to for for us, to, for for scientists, to, to kind of raise concerns. Go like, okay, I'm kind of seeing a repeating pattern of certain other um, nasty chemicals used in the past, and then certain like weird trends or patterns start to emerge. And it's just also all happened that we we all love something natural. So then the idea there um, was that. Hey, there are going to be something natural that can replace these synthetic disinfectants and uh, to, to help to either disinfect or to provide other benefits to the people, to the environment. So this was the whole idea that how we came up with this, uh, we, we founded the company, um, looking into botanicals and their powers as a natural alternative to some of the synthetics uh, that's out there. And then there's several different silos in the company. Um, some of the focuses are really not what uh, we're bringing into the CHFA, but there are a um, much greater kind of schemes of saving the saving the planet, saving the honeybees. And there was one big pair on that that we're working on. But when it comes to the human side as a company, you know, also like okay, um, the botanicals we're researching on got these great benefits to humans too. So is there something that we can bring to the market and then just benefit the humans and the planet? And that is the, the idea behind man, this brand. And that's what we're bringing to CHFA. So we came up with, uh, so far, just two body personal care products. One of them is a shampoo and conditioner and body product. The other is a shampoo and conditioner. So um, when we chose the ingredient that goes in there, and there are these, um, you know, natural plant extracts that we are working on we're researching on and we're blending them into this personal care products and there are other ingredients that when we chose them let's go like okay let's just go 100 percent natural and make sure the, the ingredients can be biodegraded and that these can be you know safe to, to for use and that's kind of that's the, the basis of why we came up with the brand and these yeah. are, I went online, these are like soap bars kind of thing, right? So these are, we're not talking plastic liquid bottles and all that. That's like, right. These are, look pretty clean. They look to me like this limited packaging, um, yeah. soap bar type format. Yeah. And full yeah. body wash then, I guess, is. That's right. Full body wash is the theme that we're going into. And uh, so, so, you know, it's the journey of coming up with the bar was more of initially it was like, okay, are there um, just kind of these multifunctional, you know, multifunctional products out there? And we did a little bit of the marketing and the research dig into that, uh, which has turned out that this is kind of a kind of limited category. Right. Uh, a lot of the, the bars are either limited to bodies or just to the hair oh, or yeah. so on. Yeah, right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. 
And uh, but there was also debates that the, the, you know in the process of coming up with uh, some people preferred in the group preferred to have those individual functionalities. Some people prefer to have a multifunctional personality. And so that that process, that journey was interesting and in having having people kind of debate on it. And eventually we came to this. And uh, now we're still continuing kind of to seek the, the identity of this or you know this kind of identity multifunctional which category of consumers does it really fit very well into and uh, so it's, with that being said i think besides these two we're coming up with a um a product also multifunctional but a more catered for the outdoor community okay and uh, yeah we found that was one of the uh group that kind of resonated really well with this type of products especially um combining the multifunctional piece with a uh, hundred percent biodegradable and reef safe and that's a very big thing for that group of people and uh, so th th that's kind of what we're we're doing and what we will be doing next okay so, so cool. for anyone kind of following on and we'll put the links in the oh, yeah. podcast notes but um the brand we're talking about is mend m-e-n-d-d-e um, so if you go to M-E-N-D-D-E dot com is where you'll find Ming's products. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Like, I think this idea we, we do, um, we, we've certainly met a, a few folks that do something like this, but I don't mm -hmm. think that the world has enough of these, right? Um, you know, you, I, I'm in the U.S., so if I wander down a Target, there are about 18,000 plastic bottles of yeah, stuff personal. there. Uh, per store that we could, you know, if we saw a lot more, you know, product that was a little bit more sustainable like this, it, it, uh, it'd probably be much, much better for us. So um, a very, very cool idea. So um, in Incubator Alley, what, what, do you, what are you looking for? Are you looking for retailers to kind of give you some feedback? Are you looking for retailers to list? What, what's kind are you of looking your... for distributors? Are you looking for yeah. brokers? Like what's, what's sort of the... Yeah. What's sort of the plan or the hope out of CHFA? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is our first time there, so definitely, like Phil said, getting some retailers uh, retailers feedback to us it is right. very important. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, we we've been collecting consumer feedbacks to the product, so coming from retailer a different lens, and I think that's a uh, what we haven't fully explored yet. And okay. along that. If uh, some retailers find the you know the idea behind our products is great and fits what they want to do, and that's they would like to either list it or discuss distributing it, I think that would be a big bonus for us as well. So right now, are you actually in market, or is this truly like still in the incubator and you're still trying to get this going? Yeah, it is. In the market. We the product sold on Amazon.ca. Yeah, and we're also in the process getting some products up to Amazon.com and uh, to have it in for the U.S. market as well. Okay, so strictly an online play at this moment, nothing in yeah. bricks and mortar. No, no, that's okay. right. Well, that's then you're then you're definitely you're going to yeah. be at the right show for online because yeah. you will have people like Well.ca and um, Vitamin House and people like that at the show. I'm assuming, um, mm -hmm. but definitely it's a bricks and mortar type of show. I mean, okay. you're definitely talking to the to the to the right to the right group. And then you've you've yeah. got you're in Incubator <clears throat> Alley. You're going to wind up getting a ton of buyers because I think they still do the Sunday morning pitches. I think, or well, sorry, it's not it's Sunday morning. It'd be here. Friday morning pitches. I think. <clears throat> right. So, so that's right. awesome, right? Because you are going to get a ton of retailer feedback. It'll help you get a sense of. Um, I, I think all the retailers all have green policies or now, or they have goals they have to hit. So it'll be interesting to see how they're going to fit you in, how they're going to think about what that should look like for you. So, okay, awesome. You should, you should do. Yeah. You should do. Okay. Can we ask? So, like, what kind of retails are we are you looking at, and how much? How what's the sort of um, like a bottle of shampoo? Let's say gets you ninety shampoos, for lack of a better, or a bar of soap gets you fifty showers. Like, what are you what are you talking in terms of retail, and how much? How long does this last? Yeah. So right now, it's for the bar, like you know, for for short hair like it lasts about or no hair like mine yeah for sure I like all of us <laughs> 30 30 something washes okay. and uh so, yeah and, like uh, the product, so. that's pretty yeah exactly yeah. exactly the, the size of it is about 65 grams so it's not like that full-size bar 
of silk. Okay, but it's still a good size. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, and what's the and, retail of something like that? Yeah, the retail is some uh, ours are great uh, between twenty five for twenty eight bucks. Twenty twenty five, yeah. twenty eight dollars. Okay, so you're you're going to be into, into more of a niche market. That's right. Obviously, obviously, yeah. but you've got a really compelling um, wow. environmental story. Yeah, the, I think the environmental piece is big, but uh, also uh, what differentiates that I think is the size. Um, for the bars that we're we're producing, we're formulating like these, like for the ones that existed already yeah. in the market, we have them tested with our university partners, you know, on um, uh, the certain efficacy side of things, and uh, and yeah. So so although like for the skincare cosmetics, if you want to claim certain efficacy, it is not. It's House Canada has the pretty pretty strict regulations on it. But for us, because we're all coming out from with the science background, so for certain things that we, uh, you know, we we want to claim in the future, we want to put out the label into the future. And for all of those, we're already formulating uh, purposely and getting some partners okay. to test them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think science based is also a big thing behind uh, what we're doing. It's for a sure. group of scientists to coming together. And uh, putting together and trying to create a consumer product. So, because we are both buyers, so some of the things that I would ask, is even as a buyer, is like, so in terms of of marketing, like, what are you gonna like? If I'm a if I'm a retailer and I want to put this in stores, how are you gonna help me get this off the shelves? What sort of marketing are you doing um, in general? Um, so for right now, marketing we're doing um, is uh, one is talking to some potential distributors now already, and yeah. uh, we'll be co marketing. And talking about uh, the you know the the product, how is it good for? How can it be good for certain types of skin, let's say oily skins, or you know the skin that uh, requires um, just more soothing and uh, moisturizing. And then that's kind of like the current angle are going with the marketing. Uh, with this new product, we come out, and that one, like I said, it's going to have a stronger identity, like cater towards outdoor community. That one itself will have all the stronger messages out there to you know on the website and on Amazon and through the distributors and to talk about that as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Have you, have you thought about uh, like MEC or um, like mountain equipment and places like that too? Because if this is safe for lakes, safe for rivers, safe for yeah. reefs, yeah. you know there is that that you know especially as you get a lot more younger people doing that and they are much more environmentally conscious than i would have been at their age like yeah to protect the lake you know you can at least can you swim in the lake and actually clean and not worry yep. about huh? exactly exactly Interesting. yeah no that's a great yeah. idea we talked about mountain equipment co-op yeah we talked about patagonia um some of these more you know very strongly environmentally friendly brands and to align our marketing right. a lot with them yeah the right. ten tree folks of the world you know folks that can well folks that get it right you're already you're, you're not you're not hard yeah. selling at that point because yeah. they're they've already bought in yeah. right they get that's they what they, you know, they're they're worried about leaving footprint you know negative footprint behind so yeah. that's interesting okay that's kind of cool cool mm -hmm. man um we're looking forward to seeing you at the show this is yeah that awesome. should be i'm kind of yeah. i'm curious to see what the yeah. bar looks like what it smells yeah. like what it feels like um Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So you two will be there like personally at the show? Yeah. Okay. We'll be at the show. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're at the show for ourselves. We have our own booth, but we're also doing, we'll probably do we'll be, be filming, we'll be, we'll and be filming. recording and, yeah. you know, kind of wandering, generally yeah. being. Yeah. Just us. Know, kind of crazy. Right. At the best too. Yeah. 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 Um, That's really awesome. cool. You got a, you got a cool idea. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely the time for, if anything, it's probably even 15 years too late in some ways. You know what I mean? Like, I wish we'd been doing this years ago, but thank God you're doing it now. And I love the yeah. science aspect. I love the fact you guys come from a background of, like, you get it. Yeah. I appreciate but, that. Yeah, that, that's that's feedback for us right there. <laughs> well, it's stuff that you can put, like, into your marketing is that it's not, you know, I, I think what happens, especially with this group, because you're talking to a very probably specific age range, anybody can use it. I appreciate that, but your conversion is going to be better in the, probably the 15 to 35s than 60 plus. Not that they won't use it, but my point is, is just trying to understand that 
I think they'll appreciate the fact that it's not a marketing game. Like it's actually a science game. Like you guys came with this from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah, think. Anyway. Yeah. That's good. That's very cool. Awesome. Thanks, Ming. Great. We will, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at the show. Yeah. We'll see you in yeah, a, I guess a couple of weeks practically. Right. Yeah. 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 Jeez. Exactly. Awesome. <laughs> that goes by fast. Awesome. Hey buddy. All right. Thank Enjoy you so the much, guys. weather. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold for you. Yeah. And, uh, We'll catch up with you at the show. Yeah. Okay. Great. Sounds great. You go enjoy Thanks. your day. Phil, you hang on a bit. Yeah. And Ming, we'll chat with you later, buddy. Take care, Ming. Okay. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye. 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 That's okay. interesting. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's Mend. Uh, if you're going to go check them out, Mend, M-E-N-D-D.com. We'll put the links. In yeah. The, I, mean, I, mean, the, I don't know uh, if we have a booth number yet, but if, if we have them, we'll, we'll drop that in as well. You'll definitely find them in innovation alley or yeah. incubation alley. Incubation alley. Yeah. Incubation or alley. incubator alley. One of the two. Somewhere Sorry, in. Okay. Thanks. Bye.